Hello, welcome back again. I've been away and now I'm back again with some more tutorials. So looking forward to those tutorials coming up. For this tutorial, we're going to look at how to create a seven basic text animation for beginners. So let's begin. Here in the project bin, right click and add your title clip. Uh, this is the title editor where you have the other text, you add the rectangle, you add the ellipse and you also add images to your um, text, and text editor here. And uh, we can type in our text. Simply click here and you can type in your text. To align them in the center, you can either use the grid to show grid and you can manually align it. Or you can simply use the alignment uh, here so you can simply align that to the center. You can also change the text from here and change the font. You can also change the color from here or you can change to gradient from here. Now let's create our title. Here, we're going to drag this to the timeline and I want to make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. Just drag this one down and then zoom in by using the uh, control and middle mouse button or command and middle mouse button. Okay, so this is the first one here. The first one is a very simple fade in and fade out. As I said, it's beginner's tutorial. Please do subscribe if you are new to this channel. Uh, you subscribe and support us uh, in this way. Uh, here we have the fade in, simply click that and you can uh, adjust the uh, speed of the text by going to every one second, one second like this to fade in. So that's the fade in there, see the text fade in. You can do the same for the fade out and bring it in here. So that's the fade out. The second text animation is same as this one, but we're going to use the different way to do that. So let's add our title clip again, the same one to the timeline. And you come to the bottom here and this one we're going to use the composition effect so once you click that you can see automatically it's at this wife uh, transition there so uh, composition there so you just click in and you can see it's fade in you can do the same for this one and then you can bring it in like that and you can see that's the fade out so very simple uh, one and uh, text animation two now let's go to the third one the third one again, uh, we're going to use the composition effects to do that. So let's go to the composition. And this time it's a very simple one. We go to this dissolve here. So go looking for dissolve and simply drag that and place it here. You do the same. Drag this to make it faster. And let's go to the other one and do the same here. To make it a little bit faster, we just trim this one in. And now, this is the fade in. But then, when you go to, to fade out, you can see it's fade in again. So how are we going to solve this one? I simply select the properties and you can see this reverse here. That's you're reversing that. So when you play again, you can see it's reversing. So that's the third simple text animation for beginners. For the fourth one, again, we're going to use the composition. And this is a very uh, one that I like to use sometimes in my videos. So you can see here and then we look for slide. That's a very uh, important one, the slide here. So simply click and drag it and put it here. Slide in and then pull the slide out. Let's do the same, put the slide out here and then trim this one. Okay, so you can see it's slide in like that. And again, when you go to the second one, again, it will slide in again. So we have to fix this. So when you select these properties, you can see here, you have some nice properties here to play around. So you can see with this one, the text start from this corner and then end and it stays in the center. So if you go to this one, you can see the same thing happen. So that means we want to place the text in the center and then out from here. So it's the same thing. You can also change the direction of the text to move in. For example, here we start from here. You can start from the right side or you can start from the top or the bottom. So let's click the bottom and then it says in the center. And then let's click this one. And then we from the other, we from here. So we're going to... Uh, leave the text in the center here and then it goes out from here so you can see very simple as that it comes up it stays 
and then it goes out all the way from there so that's how we can create so that's the four text animation so far let's go to the next one again we're gonna use the composition again so simply drag the clip and then this time we're gonna use the slide down slide left all these are there to use so we can just simply use uh, the slide down here place it there and then uh, trim it so it make it uh, more faster so this is like sliding down from there and then it's set in the center if we want to do this again let's bring this and then uh, trim this one up but you can see the thing happen is when we do that it's slide down again so to change that uh, simply click here and you can see this little button here which is zero dread slide this up until it's 1000 and go to the opposite which 1000 there and slide it down to zero so it's an opposite way so when we do that you can see this is what it's happened so you can change this using the slide down slide left slide all these are there to use so so far we have looked at pipe text simple text animation for beginners now for the next one it's not advanced but it's kind of using the keyframe so we're gonna do that here let's bring in our text again to the timeline uh, placing this and now we're gonna go to the effects uh, looking up the under the transform distort and perspective you have the transform uh, effect here simply uh, drag that and place it onto the clip make sure to select the clip to place the effects on that clip uh, once we have that now we can uh, bring our text to left right up whatever corner you want the text to fly in so from there the exposition is here simply click and drag to hide the text something like that and then bring the playhead to this uh, some position like that and then you add the keyframe and simply from here we just want to change this one to zero and our text is there you can change the interpolation from here to smooth or whatever you want to do so that's the text flying in like that and then the other one from here let's add a keyframe and then go to the end add another keyframe and then from here let's change the x position simply click and drag to uh, the text to fly out like that so here text in and text out again you can use, use the y position for the text to move up and down so that's the six simple text animation for beginners and the final one the final one uh, we want to do the using the transform again so let's select that apply the transform effect to that and then from here we're going to rotate the text so to do that first let's um, hide the text in here as similar as we have done and then move the playhead in here and then add a keyframe in the keyframe in the rotation we want to rotate this to 360 either you can just type this or you see this little icon here let's rotate that to 360 and then from the x position let's change this value back again to zero okay so our text rotate as it comes in and then we want to do the same as it goes out so let's add a keyframe go to the end add another keyframe and then the value just click on this to change back to zero again and then in the x position let's just bring this text out into the left uh, into the right side so here is the out okay so these are seven basic text animation for beginners inside Kaden life as simple as that and thank you again for watching if you have not subscribed please do that and um, yeah, see you all back again in another video.